my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I have another thrift haul to share with you today and it's a pretty big one. I've gone to three different stores and I've just kind of been piling things up until I was ready to film another haul and here it all is. I'm standing in front of my kitchen table and it's just kind of covered. So I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly for you but uh, no promises that it's going to be super short. Sorry for the optical illusion of my shirt with the curtains. I did not plan that appropriately, but I'm too tired to go change. It's been a long day and um, I'm pregnant, so I feel like I can just use that excuse as much as I'd like. I will start with the stuff I got at um, the Greenville Thrift Shop. It's just a thrift store where people donate. It's not Goodwill or anything. Um, it's actually sponsored by the local hospital. And I don't always have a lot of luck there, but I found a few good things this time. So I got this set of napkins and they look like they've never been used. They're like a drop clothy, burlappy, like a really soft set of napkins. And I don't know that I'll sell them as a set of napkins or if I will um, like repurpose them. I thought about hanging them like with a little wood bar and actually like stenciling a sign on them or a phrase. But that's pretty ambitious for some napkins. I could just sell them as napkins and save myself the trouble, but I only paid two bucks and they're so nice and just such a pretty color. I really like these. Happy with that find. I didn't organize this appropriately. The other thing I got at the thrift store, what was it? Oh, just this. Uh, just this uh, glass like cake stand. So my plan for this is I think I'm actually going to paint the base white and make that look like more of a white ceramic, but I'm going to leave this glass so that it's still food safe so somebody can use it if they want to. I will just say like to wipe clean on the tag instead of like put this in the dishwasher because if I do paint it, it kind of does take away that durability. And I only paid $1.50 for that and these are so popular right now, I think I can upcycle that into something really cute. I feel like there was one more thing I got at the thrift store. Oh, I got a headboard and I forgot to film it today and I left it at my mom's house. So if I remember, I'll try to add that onto the end of this video just so you guys can see. But it's a very kind of ugly headboard, probably for a full size bed. And it's not even real wood. It's like uh, plasticky kind of and also maybe a little bit of plywood inside. But it has not like a good shape and I'm going to turn it into a chalkboard and I think that'll be a good seller for me. I've had really good luck selling like things that I've repurposed into chalkboards especially so I think that'll turn out great um, I'm sorry that I don't have that but that's the other thing I got there and it was six dollars uh, next uh, we happened upon a consignment shop over in Vandalia Illinois I think it's called the three sisters consignment shop I'll link it below just so in case I mess that name up and I found some good finds. So this is kind of like a candle rest, I would say, just a podium. I mean, it's a big enough podium that you could probably stack a bunch of different things on here. Um, but it's metal and probably iron. I paid $3.99 for it, but I'm probably just gonna paint it black just so it looks like black metal. I thought it was kind of cool and something that would be able to sell, no problem. Got these two little candlesticks for a dollar each. They're wood. It's just something always nice to have to display with. I was loving this guy. He was five dollars. I don't even know if he's actually old. I mean this is kind of rust like actual rust so he probably is. Um, one side says water. I know you probably can't see that and the other side says juice and it has like the measurements. I feel like this is the type of thing. A it's green and I don't know if you can't you really can't see my hutch but it's almost the same color as my hutch so this is the kind of thing that I'll probably keep for a while and eventually sell I think I just go like right here perfect um, and I got these little Tupperwares just for saving paint I've been want, needing something to kind of like mix paint in they're really small um, but I have like the green that I painted my hutch in a big container and I want to just save like a little bit of it in case I need, need to do touch-ups. I don't know why I'm stumbling over my words. So anyway, I just got those for, for paint purposes and that was only a dollar. Um, okay. So also at that same consignment store, I got this picnic basket. The tag's off of it, but I think I paid five dollars. 
and it is in such great shape. And I'm in a huge like picnic basket mood. You're gonna notice that in my thrift haul. Oh, but it's so nice, it's so pretty. I love like all the little details on the side. And the other day I saw a picnic basket in an antique store that someone had painted white. And I've just been thinking about it ever since. And this one was, I got it so cheap that I feel like I might paint the sides of this one white. I don't know if that freaks people out, but I think it would be so pretty. And I'm kind of uh, displaying them up on top of my hutch. So I don't know that I'll sell this or keep it, but I got it for such a good deal. And I think that'll be a fun DIY project. Or I might just end up leaving it alone, maybe. And then my other picnic basket from that same consignment shop is this guy. He needs his lid repaired, but I do have both pieces. But it's just another picnic basket that I paid $5 for. Maybe $6, but either way, not too bad. So it does have its lid parts. They just need to be reattached. I think they had taken this side off so they could like display florals in it. So yeah, he's in great shape too. And I'm actually gonna paint. Oh, someone pointed out that I call my antique items like he and him, and I never noticed it, but I did. I just called him a him. I don't know why why the path, picnic basket would be a him. But I just got this uh, Dixie Belle color. If you're new to my channel, we sell Dixie Belle on Etsy and in our Greenville antique booth at Third Street Market. But this is the color Vintage Duck Egg. And it's just like a really antique soft blue. And I envisioned this basket, like from this section down, being that vintage blue. I think that'd be so pretty for spring, or even just like this stripe. I don't know, I might start with the stripe and see from there if I wanna paint more of it, but anyway, that'll be another fun project too. And then I also got a really cute antique high chair there. It was like white and really old, and it has like the flip up high chair tray. I'll try to put a picture of that at the end of this video too because I also forgot to grab that footage and I didn't have space in my car to bring it home. But that was a really good find. I got it for $16 and I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm gonna sell it as primitive as it is because it's beautiful. Um, so that was a fun find and I think that was everything from that consignment shop. Okay, and then moving on to everything that I got at my local Goodwill. Um, I got two of these little canisters and they were only two dollars each and they have like this nice wood lid now the last time I went to this same Goodwill which was the first time so now I've been two times it was just like crammed with stuff and this time it was almost empty I don't know what happened but I still found some really good things and I don't know why they were passed up but I thought these were a good find because they're both they're so clean it doesn't even look like they've been used so here's the other one so there's two nice little jars with wood lids. Can't beat that. I got this little frame. It has like the, um, the glass that's kind of like bowed out. So I think I'm gonna paint the frame and do like a vintage bird inspired picture in here. I still have an oval frame from my last Goodwill haul that I want to put a bird photo in that too. And I think kind of like making a little um, like montage, what is the actual word? Like a gallery wall of bird photos would be really cool. I also found this little canister set. There's just three and they're the rectangular shaped ones or not the cube shaped ones. And they're in great shape. They do have glitter on them, but it's not like glued on. Um, so they look like this. And I like that the birds on here are kind of neutral colors. Um, and I, we, we've sold some of these. We've also not sold some of these. So I'm happy that I got them at a really good price. I paid three for the large one, two for the medium one, and then a dollar for the smallest one. So I got them cheap enough that I can also offer them at a good price in my booth, which I like to do also. I'm not always trying to get top dollar. I want people to be able to come to my booth and feel like they got a good deal sometimes. And if I can make that happen based on what I bought for, or based on what I paid for the item, then that's a win-win for everybody. I really like these though. I don't know if they're gonna maybe stay on my shelves over here for a minute. We'll just 
stack them precariously over there. And then my favorite find from that Goodwill store, I couldn't believe it, but they just rolled a cart out as my boys and I were about to leave and it had this great, perfect little picnic basket. I'm so happy about it. And it was only $6. So it has its lid, all its like hinges are attached and fully working. It's nice and clean. There's no like holes or any broken parts. So I was so excited about that one. And I just like really hit it out of the ballpark for picnic baskets this week. My husband's gonna see all these and just like really wonder why. But he wonders why about a lot of things that I do. So there you go. Oh, and then I have two more things. I thought I was done. I'm not done. I'm almost done. I picked up this just metal green, I think it's just a file folder box, but we've sold some that are similar that used to be like lunch boxes. So I'll probably stencil a word on here. I don't know, I keep thinking like, I might stencil the word lunch even though it's not actually a lunch box because I think this would be really cute in someone's kitchen like on a display shelf and someone could put like their cookbooks in it or something that they wanted to store away. So I think I'll make it something kitchen related by stenciling a word on the front. Um, and that'll be a quick project. I only paid a dollar, I think. I don't know, I paid three dollars. Well, that's okay. Three dollars is good enough for me. Did I tell you that I paid a dollar for this? I don't know if I mentioned that. And then the last thing. <laughs> this is definitely like the scary, like behemoth of the haul. So this is a really heavy uh, cake stand with a big glass cloche, but I know the glass cloches are so popular right now. So I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to modernize this. It's a lot like that picture that some people loved and most people agreed needed upcycled. I'm not saying like when I think something's ugly that it's absolutely the worst thing ever and you should never like this. Like I didn't hate that big picture from my last ugly haul. I hope I didn't offend anybody when I called it ugly, but you know, I, what I mean really is just that it's not very modern. And I don't know that it would have a place like in today's kitchen. Doesn't mean it's wrong. And I know there's a lot of kitchens where this would still look really cute. So I don't even hate this. I, I just don't know. I think I could maybe sell it for more if I worked on it a little bit. Now I did pay $6 for it, which is a little high, but I think I can do something with it. Pretty cool. So that is a, a project that is to be decided, but it will be something I'm working on soon. And then I just remembered, I also got this from the consignment store. I already put it up on my shelf because I love the color so much. I know this isn't old by any stretch and I only paid $5 for it. I'm trying to see if there's like another tag here. Can't read where it's from so I'm sure this is like a new item but it's nice and vintage inspired and I just really like the colors for spring and summer and it looks really great on my shelves I'll have to show you after this okay guys I think that's it for this thrift haul I know I was talking really fast I was trying to get through everything without taking up too much of your day but I hope you enjoyed watching everything that I found and I typically will do an upcycle video featuring these products all together so that you guys can see how they turn out in the end. And then I'll go ahead and put them in my booth too so you guys can see how they look there. Um, so it's kind of a fun little cycle of videos I've got going on. I'll do, normally do a haul and then an up cycle and then a booth tour where I put the items into my antique booth. And then I will do a sales recap of the previous month so then you guys can find out if the item sold, how much they sold for, and what kind of profit I'm working with. If you're new to my channel, I have two antique booths that I run with my mom. We also have an Etsy site where we sell Dixie Belle paint. I'm often doing upcycling videos, thrift hauls, antique booth tours, and other business related videos. So if you like that content, make sure you subscribe so you can get an alert next time I post a video. I appreciate you guys watching today and I will see you next time. Bye!